lamb is the king of pork. It can cost up to $4,500 for a single leg of Spanish jamón ibérico. Jamón ibérico de bellota is one of the highest quality varieties and it's marked with a black label. Scoring a bite of this complex aged meat is a bucket list item for any serious foodie. Would you splurge on this delicacy? Yeah, boy, they're pretty impressive. And what makes the cost of jamón ibérico de bellota so extravagant? Is it the pig's special diet? How they're raised? The ham's exquisite taste? Or the curing process? Join me as we ham it up. And you know I will. Such expensive ham cannot be made by just any old pig. The Iberian pig is a breed that farmers have raised since the 9th century BCE. They're so famous that Pliny the Elder wrote about them in 77 CE. And in 711, Iberians ate this ham as an act of rebellion against the invading Moors. These pigs are an important part of Spanish culture, and it's not just because their meat tastes so good. They also play an essential role in maintaining another point of Spanish pride, the dehesa. What is a dehesa? I'm glad you asked. <laughs> Let's go to the southwest part of Spain. Here, you can find a special forest of grasses, oak, and cork trees. This is the dehesa. It used to cover almost 90% of Spain, but people cleared most of it over the centuries. What's left has gone to the pigs. The highest quality Iberian ham must come from pigs raised here. They maintain the ecosystem, and the ecosystem in turn makes the pigs taste so delicious by providing the acorns they eat. To raise the highest quality jamón ibérica de bellota, you need to let your pigs roam throughout the dehesa freely. They can travel up to 25 miles a day, which builds the strong thighs these pigs need when they gain weight. The winter grazing season runs from October to February and is called the montañera. Pigs producing Iberian ham graded with a black or white label must feast only on acorns during this time. After they reach about 15 months of age, the curing process begins. Of course, it has to start with slaughtering the pigs. But it might comfort you to know that farmers avoid scaring or stressing their pigs during the slaughter. That makes pigs produce adrenaline, which toughens their meat. From the fresh ham, farmers make chorizo, salchichon, and murcia sausages. And they get to cook some of the pork cuts. Lucky them. But the aged ham legs are the big money makers. And curing them is a crazy process. First, farmers pack the fatty legs in sea salt. They're kept in humid rooms because humidity helps salt penetrate the meat. After they salt the ham, farmers hang the legs to dry. Most Iberian ham is left to cure for two years. But Iberico de Bellota has more fat, so it needs to cure for four years. Oh, yeah. During this process, mold grows on the ham. But don't worry, the ham doesn't go bad. That's supposed to happen. The mold is a natural protection. And now, finally, your Iberian ham is ready to eat. A master carver hand slices the ham into thin cuts. Only they can make sure that the fat is dispersed perfectly through the entire piece. When you bite into it, the veins of layered fat will immediately melt on your tongue. You'll taste a complex flavor filled with sweet and nutty notes that would gradually get stronger. Oh my God. Mmm, ham. Where was I? Sorry, I started drooling. Eating jamón ibérico de bellota is quite an experience. Oh, mm. And this extremely high quality grade is only about 5% of all Iberian ham. So if you wanted to try this delicacy on more of a budget, you could try presunto ibérico raised in Portugal. This will set you back around $700. At that $50? Or you could try Jamón Ibérico Cebo de Campo. This variety costs about $320 per leg, but it's raised partially on farm feed and is only cured for two years. It all sounds delicious to me. 
What? But these prices might be going up in the future. Climate change has plunged the dehesa into drought. The acorns have been growing slower and fewer drop to the ground. Farmers have had to beat acorns from the trees to feed their pigs. And hey, if you love luxury meats, you should try Wagyu beef. What makes this meat so expensive? And is it worth the hype? Find out on another episode of Origins of Food.